Hi, and thanks for tuning in for lesson 44 of uh, A2C Junior English. Uh, today we're going to do a couple different things. Um, we're going to walk through how to upload Essay 1 and 2 to JCTC for the students who are doing A2C dual credit. We're going to do a little bit of end of the year goal setting, and we're going to do a really quick return to school Q&A. So, so a lot of what's going to happen today in class isn't going to be reflected terribly clearly in this online lesson, but I'm still going to go ahead and go through this PowerPoint so you can get an idea of what we will be doing in class later today. Our current upcoming assignments for this week on uh, the 5th, on the Friday, your rough draft will be due. Um, that is for essay number three. Voice and choice number four, which we're going to introduce here today, is going to be due next Friday on the 12th, and your extra credit are going to both be due in mid-April. Let's take a look at our learning targets. For writing today, we're going to use the JCTC Blackboard site to log into the A2C course and figure out where we can turn in the essays one to four for dual credit. And this means you can document your work in this A2C course and receive that dual credit at JCTC. For literature, we're going to create a specific plan for our end of year goals in this course, and this means you can plan steps towards achieving your academic goals in English this year. And then for informational, for our informational lesson, we're going to discuss the JCPS return to school documents, expectations, and current information. And this means that you could explain the current JCPS plan to your parents and friends when they have questions. Take a look at our week structure. Monday, Tuesday recorded lesson. There's a Thursday, Friday recorded lesson, and my office hours are from 10 to 10:45 during an ELA recovery period on, in the morning on Wednesdays, and then in the afternoon on Wednesdays it's from 12 to 2:30 p.m. All right, so we have a new voice and choice assignment. The voice prompt is, "What is one thing you wish people understood about you?" And there are all new choice prompts for the all 10 paths. For the artist, it's how can art use be, be used as therapy. For the poet, it's poetry elevates and celebrates the ordinary. What ordinary thing can you celebrate? For the innovator, it's how does a business become a local success? For aviation, it's what personality traits should pilots have? And for tra the trades, it's how much vacation time does trade work allow? For the journalist, you have for journalism, what does the saying, if it bleeds, it leads mean? And do you agree? For law, it's how do you think lawyers deal morally with defending clearly guilty clients? For the fittest, you have medical, how has the pandemic highlighted the importance of nurses? Or for sports, why is the discussion around the topic of CTE so intense in football, and what are the sides? For the mentor, for education, how do students learn best and why? Or for psychology, what do you think a consciousness is? For the gamer, for design, when is a game poorly designed? For the musician, when... Um, uh, when do song lyrics count as poetry? And give an example. For Old Glory in the Military, what stories interest you the most about military experiences? And then for the author, for narrative, what does good dialogue sound like? Or for film, how does lighting affect emotions in filming? So choose one of those prompts to respond to for your choice response. All right, uh, this is the A2C um, walkthrough for how to use the Blackboard. If you are not in the A2C credit track, if your class does not say A2C on it, then this is not something you need to worry about so much. You're still going through and doing the essays, but you don't need to upload for credit. If you are an A2C student, uh, you, do need to, you do need to upload for credit. All right, real quick login. So there are 26 students who have currently activated their accounts. There are about uh, 10 students who need to activate their accounts using the steps on the right uh, and the password A2C 2020. So you can activate your account by clicking on current students. Scroll down and click on user account center. Select set up user profile. Enter your birth month, your birthday, and your KCTCS ID as you received it uh, when you com originally completed your um, application. It can be found at the top left of your JCTC schedule also. You'll need a security code to verify your identity. So you can send it to a, your email or text. You'll make a password. And then you'll go to jefferson.kctcs.edu. Click on current student, go to my path. 
and you're going to log in and use you use, with, use, with the username and password you just created. So once you're logged into the ATC course of Blackboard, there are four tasks. Each task asks you to upload three parts of, of one of the four essays. The first essay is going to be due on, the Mar on March 19th. Now we did the first essay at the beginning of the year, but in JCTC, in the JCTC class, the first one's due on March 19th. Essay two is due March 26th. Essay three is going to be due April 16th. And then essay four is going to be due May 14th on this website. So if you're getting the A2C credit, these are the due dates for turning those in for A2C credit. So that is some good news. If you haven't done essay one and essay two from semester one, but you're signed up for getting a TC credit, there's still some time to get through them. If you did not do these assignments and you're in the JCTC course, you can still get credit by completing them before their due dates. And here are their due dates again. All right, moving on. So our literature learning target for today is to create a specific plan for our end of year goals in this course. So we're going to walk through that now. So there really are three different things that you might be focusing on for the end of this year. The first is just getting credit for English 3. The second is getting that dual credit for A2C at JCTC. And the third thing you might be focusing on is passing the ACT test. So to get credit for English 3, you just need to complete more than 50% of our progress assignments and 50% of the mastery assignments in this course. Um, I'm going to release a specific path with the colors for a D, a C, a B, and an A as we get closer to the end of the year. So if your goal is to just get credit for English 3 and keep moving on track for graduation, I'm going to get you that specific path probably sometime at the beginning of May. To get dual credit for A2C and JCTC, you're going to need to complete and upload those artifacts for all four essays to the JCTC class on Blackboard. And again, those three pieces that you're going to be uploading are the outline, the rough draft, and the final draft for each essay. And then the last goal that you might be focusing on to pass the ACT test, um, you'll be want to prepare for the English part by doing some grammar prep and reading at level texts. And you want to prepare for the reading part by studying literary techniques and figurative language, also in reading at level texts. You can get a free ACT prep book from your library by using the link I posted in the stream about a week ago. I could direct you to that if you want some uh, specific directions as well. If you just shoot me an email or log into class, I can tell you where to go to get that too. All right. Our informational learning target is that we're going to discuss the JCPS return to school documents, expectations, and current information. This means we can explain the current JCPS plan to my parents and friends and they have questions. And we're going to do a, a return to school Q&A on Monday and Tuesday and just kind of talk through what we know so far, what we don't know, and you know when we'll be back, what the school, what it will, school day will look like, that, that sort of thing. The topics of discussion for this uh, informational uh, session will be when will we come back, how will we take the ACT, what will school look like, what days will I go to school, and how will we be safe. So you can also use this space to work on your outline or rough draft when we're done discussing the return. It won't be the last time we talk about coming back in person, but this is just kind of a first Q&A session to maybe alleviate some anxiety and provide some clarity, seeing as how the board just voted last week. All right, uh, those are our learning targets for today. Mo uh, mostly housekeeping on this Monday, Tuesday lesson. Uh, we'll be getting back into content on Thursday and Friday, but we just needed to do a little bit of discussion about some important things along the lines of the A2C upload, a little bit of planning for the end of the year, and a little bit of discussion about what the end of the, what the, end of the year is going to look like. Again, that voice and choice number four is going to be due on the 12th. Your rough draft is going to be due at the end of this week on Friday. We're going to have some space to work on that. 
um, uh, in this class period, as well as in the um, uh, for, on the fourth and the fifth, and definitely on the third if you come in to get some assistance there too. Well, thank you for listening, and this is a super quick one because it's mostly housekeeping this uh, on this Monday and Tuesday lesson. Thank you for listening, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye.